What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today I'm continuing my coverage of the Galaxy S10, S10 Plus launch. Today I'm super excited because Samsung has finally released an update for their popular GoodLock software. Now if you're not familiar with GoodLock, it is a suite of Samsung software and apps that you can use to customize your Samsung device. It's very popular with Samsung users over the last couple years since it was released. They've added all kinds of new features and it's finally been updated so that it's compatible with Android Pie and Samsung One UI. Now, of course, that also means it's going to be compatible with the Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, the Galaxy S10e. Now, if you're not familiar with GoodLock, that's what the app icon looks like. It's actually the new icon. You can grab it from the Galaxy Store. If you go into the Galaxy Store and you search for GoodLock, you should find the app right there. Now, I had some issues getting the app from the Galaxy Store myself. It wasn't working on the S10 Plus, so I actually had to grab the APK from APK Mirror. I'll drop the link below in case you want to grab it from there if you have any issues getting it to work. Now, once you open the GoodLock app, this is what it looks like. A new design, actually. It says, redesign your Galaxy. And you've got four basic options. Lock Star, Quick Star, Routines, and Clock Face that come sort of pre-installed. And if you click on the little Galaxy Store icon, it'll take you to the store and you need to download each of these little add-ons separately. So once you've downloaded all the various add-ons, you can go in and tweak all the settings with your Galaxy phone using each of these. So first, let's talk about Lockstar. So if we tap on Lockstar, you'll notice Lockstar is a way to customize your lock screen with new clock faces, uh, change where the clock is arranged, and also see exactly what's being shown on your clock. So a couple of things you can do is you can choose to use the system clock, keep system wallpaper when you design a theme, and also choose the app shortcut interaction, which means you can either do touch or double touch or the Samsung default. Now you can also choose the unlock type that you have, but of course, if you're using biometric security like the fingerprint sensor, which I am, then you don't need to worry too much about that. So what you can do is go in here, basically tap on one of your themes, and it will apply the style uh, that you're interested in using there right from the get-go. Now, if you want to create a new style, you just press a little plus button there, go in, you can edit your background, basically the wallpaper you want to show, the clock, right, which is what's here. There's all kinds of awesome styles, and you can actually enable even more styles by installing the clock face option, which is the last app that I showed you guys in the good lock list. One of my favorites is the one here toward the end, which says, in words, the time. It's 21 past 6. That's the one that I'm using. Now the other cool thing you can do is change item visibility. So if you want the clock to be available on the lock screen, or you want help text, notifications, status bar, uh, lock status icon, lock button, music controller, you can change exactly what's going to be shown uh, by good lock on the lock screen. So that's very nice. You can go ahead and save your theme, and then that's another theme you'll have there. You can apply it. So if I go back to my lock screen, you can see exactly what it looks like right there. I've got the multi-color gradient on the clock. Very simple setup. The second option there, which is Quick Star, you can see Quick Star is a way to customize your quick panel settings. So you can basically change the color profile, you can change pretty much everything, the text color, background, anything that you want. So if you go into plus here, it'll ask you to change your coloring profile, you know, choose whatever color you like, and then it'll ask you to edit everything. The on color for your toggles, the off color, the font color, the background color, and even the sort of um, opacity of the background. You can change how transparent it is. So you can see in my options here, what I have. I have red text, I've got sort of little teal icons for the on, and dark blue uh, for the off. Now I was just playing around with this, but you know, I'm gonna try to customize a little more later. I just wanted people to see that you can use different colors uh, for all of the various options. So a lot of things you can do, you can also add the blur effect uh, behind the panel when you open it. Uh, lots of interesting things you can do. You can add as many themes as you want. Now you can also change the clock position. You can see here, left, hide, or right. Uh, I personally like to have the clock on, the notification panel, of course, because of the limited room, because of the display cutout, you might want to hide it just so you have more room for notifications, but that's really up to you. The other things that you can do is change the visibility of the various icons. So if you don't want to show the mobile data up there, you can get rid of that to clean up your notifications a little bit. If you don't care about the volume being up there, you can get rid of that. Uh, you can pretty much see exactly what's going to be shown. NFC, Bluetooth, the battery icon. 
You can get rid of anything that you don't want shown. You can really get a nice minimal notification panel, quick panel up there and show exactly what you're interested in. Okay, so the third app in this list, which is called Routines, uh, used to give you an option to basically set some custom routines when a certain criteria happens, it'll do another thing. Uh, like movie theater, you can have it add a widget to the home screen to adjust the brightness to 20% and turn on do not disturb mode. Now, as far as I can tell in the Galaxy S10, the S10 Plus, this has actually been sort of replaced with Bixby routines because it actually told me that when I got the app that I should be using Bixby routines. So I don't think this version of GoodLock is actually gonna allow you to use routines within the GoodLock app because they've been replaced by Bixby uh, on the Galaxy S10. Now the clock face part down here just enables some of those additional clock faces which I showed you earlier. So all of those are actually available uh, within the original app that we looked at which was Lockstar. So as long as you have clock face, you'll have all those additional clock faces to choose from. Now GoodLock does have a number of other apps if you go to the bottom here where it says GoodLock Family to choose from. And there's two of them that I want to bring to your attention. There's a lot of different choices. You can definitely check them out. I love One Hand Operation Plus. That's a great app. And then Edge Lighting Plus, which is actually just extra options for the edge lighting. This is already integrated in the software for the Galaxy S10, so you don't really need that one. But One Hand Operation Plus is an awesome app. It's really amazing. It's right here. What it allows you to do is turn on these little handles. You can see the little blue areas, touch targets on the side and you can toggle exactly what those do. So if I go to the left handle, you can see if I swipe straight to the right, it's gonna take me back in any app. Diagonal up gives me the recent apps, and diagonal down, I can change what it does, either back key, recent key, or home key. There's so many things you can do. Assistance app, forward in the web browser, pull screen down, all these various options. Personally, I just like to use it to go back because it's easier than using the gestures at the bottom. So for instance, when you're in something like Gmail and you want to go back, all I have to do is swipe over here and I can keep going back in my web page. So that's really convenient and you can use it with the regular default gestures so you don't have to make a choice or one or the other. And you can also change the transparency of sort of how the handles appear. You can change the size of the touch targets if you don't want them to be too large, change the position and change the vibration level. So you can literally customize everything about these quick gestures very convenient, in my opinion, better than the default navigation gestures on the Galaxy S10 and in One UI. So those are the main parts of GoodLock that I'm using. Obviously, there's some other options, and like I said, Routines doesn't seem to work properly on the S10 yet uh, because it's been replaced by Bixby, I'm assuming, um, so that one doesn't appear to be useful, but the other one's a very useful way to customize your phone and get some custom themes going. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of GoodLock 2019 on the Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. You can find me at Google+, Instagram, Twitter, the links in the description. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.